Hi friends, welcome once again to the midweek series, Peace in Turmoil. We are so excited week after week that we come to you and God has given us this opportunity to reach out to you with the message from Him. Just a short encouraging message just to give you hope and encouragement in these times when we are all going through the pandemic. And uh, 2020 has passed, 2021 is here. Uh, this is the third week in 21 and we still don't hear of any respite from what is going on. But we want to encourage you that we who are the creation of God, God has a purpose in our lives and many times we may not be understanding why things happen and a lot of people question. I meet people every week and people, my friends call me and there are a lot of questions people have. Why this is going on and how long will this continue and what is, uh, where is God in the midst of this or uh, and then again a lot of people have uh, financial issues and uh, relationship issues in the midst of this time and that bothers them more. Many people are tired of life itself uh, and then we encourage them saying that you get, need to trust in God because God is still in control and he knows what is going on. There is never a time that things are out of control for God because he is the creator God and that is the message that we bring week after week to encourage you to know that there is a God who is living and he is the creator God. Now some of you who are watching may not believe in that God but we want to encourage you to put your faith and trust in a God who is a creator God. And we always point everyone to the word of God, which we believe, the Bible. And I'm going to read a verse from Psalm 4. And it says very clearly how those who trust in God, those who believe in God, God gives them the peace. It says in Psalm 4 verse 8, I will both lie down in peace and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. We're all looking for safety, we're all looking for peace, but we are trying to find peace in our own ways. We struggle and we think that we are smarter than God who has created us, or maybe we think that we are uh, good enough for ourselves. But this situation, the pandemic, the virus has put everyone in a hold kind of thing. People are wondering, with all the knowledge, with all the advancement that we have, why can't they be in control? And even though God is not trying to prove His might, He's just reminding us that we need to trust in Him. He's reminding us that this creation is His and He is a God above all situations. He's not trying to put us down. He's not trying to show us that who He's a great God and we are just puny little people or something. No, He's just being gracious and giving us His word every day of the the. Uh, every day of the year or month or week and he speaks to us and his word constantly tells us that he is a God who gives us peace. The psalm writer or the songwriter saying very clearly I will both lie down in peace and sleep. Not only is he living in peace or in the midst of trouble because if you read the verses above that he is crying out for help actually. He's crying out to God he's saying when is my help coming? But then he realizes if he puts his trust in God, who knows everything and who has everything in control, he just has to speak a word and it is done. The psalmist says, I will both lie down in peace and peace and sleep also. Many people I'm talking to, they are taking medicines for uh, uh, sleeping. You know, they are not able to sleep with all the worries that are going on. And we want to encourage you through this series that you need to put your trust in God. The Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Unless you taste, you won't know how good God is. So with this message, we want to encourage you to put your trust and faith in God. See how awesome He is. And a prayer is just talking as if you're talking to a friend. Just say, cry out to God and say, Lord, I don't understand. If you are a God, you may, you may even say like that. If you're a God, if there is a God up there, talk to me. And God is kind and generous and He is very, very compassionate. Slow to anger and plenteous is mercy and mercy. And His love endures forever. The Bible says that. 
You put your trust and faith in God and He will give you that peace that you're looking for. In the midst of this turmoil, in the midst of all the chaos that is going on, His Word will comfort you and you will find that peace, that, that amazing peace. And you'll be wondering, what is this? And you will know that God is speaking to you and His peace is in you. Because it says, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. We are all trying to we do the right things that is required to be done, wear masks, wash hands, doing all the proper things. But still we need to know and trust in God who provides us the safety. May God bless you with these words in this session. And may God give you the courage to look to Him. May God give you the strength. May God give you peace in your life. May God strengthen you. May all your worries be taken over by Him because He's a God who has created you. He has kept you with a purpose and He knows what lies ahead of you tomorrow. Trust in Him. May the Lord richly bless you. Father, we thank you for all your blessing. We ask you that you bless everyone who's listening to this message, Lord. We ask you that your peace that passes our understanding may dwell in the hearts and minds of people, oh God. Those who know you, help us to trust in you more. Those who do not know you, help them to know you in a personal way. Bless them. Give them the peace. You receive all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless.